Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that a cadet then fires shots at a target at distances ranging from 25 meters to 90 meters. And the probability of hitting the target with a single shot P is given by this formula here from a distance D meters. So each shot is fired independently. The cadet fires 10 shots from a distance of 40 meters. And we've got to work out these probabilities here. So the first thing I'd want to ask myself is, what kind of probability distribution are we using? Well, it's a binomial distribution. It's a binomial distribution because we've got a finite number of trials, 10. Shots are fired independently. We know there's going to be two outcomes each time the cadet fires a shot. That will be, he'll either hit the target or not hit the target. And the probabilities remain constant. So this is a typical binomial distribution. So I'm going to need to work out what P is for um, this binomial model. And to do that, we know that D is 40. So when D equals 40, we can find out what P is. So let's just put that in here. First of all, then, when D equals 40, substitute that into the formula, and you should find that P turns out to be 0.75 or 3 quarters. So I'm going to define a random variable now, and I'm going to say let x be that random variable. I feel we should do this, okay, define the random variable, what kind of distribution it's going to be. And I'm going to be looking at the number of hits at the target. And the number of hits will be following a binomial model. So where x is distributed binomially, we've got 10 trials and the probability of success hitting a target then is 3 quarters. So in the first part, we're being asked to find the probability that exactly 6 shots hit the target. So we're looking for the probability that x equals 6. And you should be familiar with the formulae that come with binomial distribution. And I've just summarized it here. Okay, So probability that x equals 6 will be 10 choose 6, 10 c6. Probability of success is 3 quarters, so that's 3 quarters raised to the power 6. And then you've got four failures, so the probability of failure will be a quarter, 1 minus the 3 quarters, and that occurs four times over. So working this out on your calculator, you should find you get 0 0.1459 and so on. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 0 0.146 to 3SF. OK? And in part two, we're being asked to find the probability that at least eight shots hit the target. So that's going to be the probability that x is greater than or equal to 8. In other words, because there were up to 10 shots fired, that's the same as working out the probability that x equals 8 plus the probability x equals 9 plus the probability x equals 10. OK, and we can just turn to the formula now and work out each of these probabilities separately. So the probability x equals 8 will be 10c8. And then you've got probability of success, that's 3 quarters. That will occur 8 times over. There'll be 2 misses, so you've got probability of a miss is a quarter, and that will be raised to the power 2. And similarly, for 9, that's going to be 10c9, 3 quarters to the power 9, and then 1 quarter to the power 1. And finally, probability x equals 10 will be 10c10, 10, 10 choose 10, 3 quarters to the power 10, and then quarter to the power 0. Well, that's just going to be 1 for quarter to the power 0, OK? Anyway, if you work that one through on your calculator, you should find you get 0 0.5255 and so on. And again, if we round this to three significant figures, it's going to be 
two, six to three significant figures, three SF. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea on that question if it caused any problems.